Everyone knows that the universe is a huge space with many objects. The parameters of some of them are familiar to us, but by the standards of the vast cosmos, they're almost insignificant. In today's video, I want to demonstrate how amazing it can be. Ready for incredible scale and travel at the speed of light. The largest object in the solar system is, of course, the Sun. It's about 92 million miles from our planet, and so large that it could contain more than a million Earths. Let's talk about the distances between objects in the solar system. If the moon could be reached by car, traveling at about 60 miles per hour, then such a trip would last 160 days. And that's non-stop. It would take 6,000 years to get from the sun to Pluto. And it would take 19 million years to get out of the solar system. What about moving at the speed of light? The journey from our planet to Mercury would take 5.1 seconds. It would take from 2 to 15 minutes to get from Earth to Venus, depending on its position in orbit. The journey to Mars would take 4 minutes. Jupiter is at a distance of about 30 light minutes from the Sun, and from 20 to 40 light minutes from Earth. It would take about an hour to travel to Saturn at the speed of light if you started from the Sun to Neptune, four hours. Remember that the Sun is more than a million times larger than the Earth in volume. Its mass is almost 99.8% of the total mass of the solar system. But even with this in mind, our star is far from being the largest known. The Sun isn't even in the top 10. The largest star in the universe, located at a distance of about 20,000 light years, is called Stevenson 2-18. Its radius is more than 2,000 times that of our star, and its volume is almost 10 billion times that of the Sun. If you put Stevenson 2-18 into the center of our system, its outer shell would enclose even the orbit of Saturn.
The largest planet known to scientists today is HAT-P-32b. Its radius is about 90,000 miles, which is about twice the radius of Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. HAT-P-32b is located at a distance of 950 light-years from Earth. However, we are only talking about the largest celestial bodies in the studied part of the universe. It's believed that the total number of stars in it is about seven and a half quintillion. Therefore, it's difficult to imagine the number of stars in the unknown part of space. Studies show that there are about two trillion galaxies in total, but the data is constantly being updated, and this number is growing. The nearest large galaxy to us, the Andromeda Galaxy, is two and a half million light years away from the Milky Way. If the very first early modern human had been put on a spaceship traveling at the speed of light to Andromeda, by now it would have traveled less than 20% of the total journey. And it's unlikely they would have the time to get there before the end of humanity. And finally, a truly great distance. According to conventional calculations, the diameter of the observable universe is 93 billion light years. If you imagine that a person could travel at the speed of one light year per second, it would take them almost 3,000 years to get from one end of the universe to the other. But 93 billion light years is only what we can see with the most powerful instruments. The universe is constantly expanding, and scientists discover almost daily more and more new objects. Perhaps in a few years, we'll learn about the existence of several huge planets or stars, discover new galaxies, and solve the most incredible cosmic mysteries.